did. Our seven weeks of summer series continues today. Yeah, Storm Center 7 meteorologist Robert Gotro is in Bell Fountain checking out the sites. Robert, you, you, you said you got a lot of geeky, nerdy stuff going on, but <laughs> we're excited to learn some things today. This is Knowledge College. Oh yeah, well since school starts next, well in a few weeks for Bell Fountain, we have the back to school bash and there's stuff to learn anywhere you go within the Miami Valley. There's a lot of history here and so we're going to get to that a little bit later in the broadcast, but we want to talk about the back to school bash, which, take, which takes place next week. and. You know, some of some people aren't in school yet, and that includes Bell Fountain. And so I'm here with Mandy, who's the owner of the Fun Company here downtown. And you can see not only do they have tons of school stuff, but I almost wasn't here ready for my live shot because there's a bunch of board games in the back I was looking at. So it was really fun. I'm really excited to be here. Mandy, tell us, tell us all about the Back to School Bash. Yeah, thank you. We are so excited um, to celebrate the fact that school starts later this year by having the Back to School Bash next Friday, the Friday before Labor Day. Um, kids are going to get a pencil bag and they're going to go business to business throughout the downtown collecting school supplies. We're grilling out hot dogs downtown in front of the courthouse. We've got giant yard games. We have root beer floats. It's all free for kids. Um, we have enough school supplies for 300 kids, so we're looking for a good turnout. This is great. So this is a tradition every year in Bell Fountain. They have the back to school bash. It's actually the first year. We usually okay. are back in school by now. We changed the schedule this year, which I'm excited about as a mom. We have a few extra weeks of summer vacation, so we're going to celebrate with hot dogs and root beer and free school supplies. And so the uh, the, the fun company, there's, there, trust me, there's a lot of fun within <laughs> these walls. You saw Tyrone, the T-Rex earlier, so how's the fun company helping? Uh, sponsor this event. Yeah, so we are the sponsors of the event, which means that the school supplies are all free of charge to the kids. So it's just a cool way to, um, you know, get the kids downtown. Some other businesses contributed as well. Um, but we just really like to provide free things for the kids to do and get families out and about. And it, we usually have great turnout, so we're hoping yeah. this is not an exception. Yeah, and the w weather is still a week out there, though, so hopefully we can get an idea of what the weather will be like. One thing is probably certain, it's probably going to be pretty warm. Outside now, we're looking at uh, some sunshine some cloud cover and temperatures have been warming up a bit the last few days now as we move into the weekend we're probably going to be a little bit warmer as well you know what come here graphics I'm gonna to have to hit play on you for you to start there you go 83 degrees right now in Dayton we do see a little bit of cloud cover though across the region even a stray shower is possible tonight you can see up toward the northwest in Indiana we're looking at uh, some light sprinkles some of those are fading but I still wouldn't rule out a shower moving into the overnight hours temperatures into the weekend you can see getting a lot warmer we're getting close to 90, not to mention some of those low temperatures will probably be near 70 degrees. So it's going to feel a little bit more humid with the warm temperatures to come as well. Moving into tomorrow, I think there'll be a good chance for an isolated shower thunderstorm. You can see even here, moving into the overnight hours, stray shower possible, and then moving into the morning and afternoon on Friday, the chance for a thunderstorm as well. So the next seven days, what we're going to be looking at are some showers and thunderstorms, perhaps maybe today and tomorrow, but beyond that, we're looking at some decent weather. And so I'm going to manually pull up the seven day forecast here for you. And you'll be able to see that the forecast does have warm weather for us with temperatures. Yep. Getting close to 90 degrees. So hopefully we'll see some good net weather next week, but I'm excited to be in Logan County. James, this is a new County for me. So I'm gonna have to mark it off on the list. I've got just a few more left across Miami Valley. Hey, very well Great. done, my friend. We'll see you a little bit. Thanks, Robert. And our seven weeks of summer continues Tuesday. Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist McCall Brideggs will be at the Freeze Pavilion for the Kettering Block Party. McCall will be live during our 90 minutes of news beginning at 5.